Okay, ladies, so I think the cat is out of the bag. The official black girl hairstyle for travel is definitely the braids. Knotless braids, box braids, Michael braids, all of the braids are what we wear when we go on vacation. But I feel like the kinky straight texture is for sure underrated. I feel like just being able to throw on a kinky straight wig and go definitely gives such a goddess vibe and it looks so superior, especially in like your bathing suits and bikinis. I definitely want to put in my vote as like the runner up for vacation as being kinky straight hair. It definitely just exudes black girl magic. Today I've teamed up with Kalai Hair to bring you this beautiful kinky straight wig. She's nice, she's full, she's voluminous. So today I'm gonna be showing you how I install and style this beauty for beginners. She did come with the kinky straight edges and you're gonna see how I made her look super natural and definitely easy to install for beginners. Let me know what you guys think about that idea. But for now, let's go ahead and get right into the tutorial. Okay, ladies, let's get right into it. For starters, I'm gonna just take the lace tint, which is also a foundation powder, buff it into my wig cap. Here is the wig straight out of the box. As you guys can see, we're going kinky straight with the curly, kinky, curly edges. Love this one. I wanted to give you guys a great close up before I put the wig on. I'm gonna adjust the strap in the back and I'm gonna put that on first as my little anchor. And then I'm gonna put the wig on. The lace in the front is extremely long, so I'm gonna cut that a lot shorter so that I can see. But for now, I kind of cinched it up. Here is a look at the actual hair. I kind of pulled back so you guys can see the beauty and the gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous locks we are working with today. Now let's go ahead and cut off that excess lace. For starters, we're going to cut off just the excess that kind of goes below the eyebrow as well as any lace that goes around the ear. This is just going to get us set up. Of course, I got a Bev and it's just my own personal coffee that I made downstairs. Zero calories, zero sugar from... Um, I don't remember the brand, but the one from Target, the hazelnut one, that's my favorite. Now I'm going in and cutting off all of the excess lace, and I am using an eyebrow razor for a more jagged cut. As I mentioned, we are going in with these beautiful edges. They are kinky, curly edges, so they are going to be the star of the show. Um, here you can see the wig does fit glueless, especially when you cut off the ear tabs around like where the sideburns will be. And this is what she looks like set as a center part, as well as what she looks like as like a half up, half down. Coffee was busting. It was nice and hot on this day. So bear with me because the bev is going to keep popping in the video. Here I am doing the dynamic duo. I thought it was fitting to go ahead and stamp out a center part. You guys already seen the intro and I did do some little goddess like French braids in the front. So this is going to be the foundation to go ahead and make sure that the hairline as well as the parting are squared away and super, super, super sleek. Here's a before and after and you guys can see the huge transformation it does when you go ahead and just press out the hairline. It definitely accentuates the fact that this one is pre-plucked and it's glueless and it's just really, really, really nice in the front. And this kind of helps you to really, really see the beauty in that. Now here I am and I'm just taking those kinky edges and I'm just trimming them down. They're much too long for my preference on this specific day. So that's going to be the way to kind of help them to be a lot more wearable for me. Then I'm going to go in generously, extremely extremely generous with my adhesive of choice. We are going glueless, but we are gonna melt it down. This one here comes from Target, and I believe this is Bedhead. Um, I'll have it in the description box, but I did a generous amount, and then I put the lace on top. Here, I'm using that product from IC, which just helps to melt it down as well. This product is actually from Amazon, not Target, so, you know, everything is in the description box. And once I got it how I liked it, I went ahead and put the melt belt on, and I'm gonna allow that to just do its thing. Now I'm getting ready and I got me a little snack. I love these little high chew candies. They're great for like purse candy. This is my version of the purse candy that like our grandparents had back in the day. I always have these on hand. And kind of like when the kids are not doing what they need to do, I kind of use these as motivation as well as mommy fuel. Now I'm going to go in and I'm going to just make sure that since I parted it out to so French braid it, everything around it is sleek. I know I did the dynamic duo already, but you want to make sure that every time you part, everything around it is super, super sleek, especially because we have so much volume with this one we want to make sure that even if it's like nice and full and voluminous it kind of like you know contours in where it needs to be i went ahead and did a french braid on this side securing it at 
the end with a rubber band i think that looks beautiful you can definitely make it a lot fuller if you want even if you don't section out more you can definitely do like a um look at me double fisting a lot of the times i do this i had some grapefruit juice as well as my coffee grapefruit juice has been like my go-to forever my whole life but lately i've been really into the grapefruit juice again lately i'm gonna do the same steps on the opposite side where i just french braid down i know i did do the dynamic duo around the parting as well but i know you guys don't want to see every everything twice everything doesn't have to be repetitive per se as far as this one goes this one is a 13 by 4 lace front wig it's kinky straight with the kinky edges 24 inches in length and we obviously are rocking a natural color here I am tinting the lace and we are just using a foundation. This is a cream foundation. And then I'm going to use a corresponding powder along the hairline. Now we're not done with the edges yet. I kind of like to build, especially if the edges appear a little bit intimidating. Fresh edge brush always, always is my favorite thing because those edge brushes for sure get super crusty between, you know, all of the edge control and the wax stick and the mousse. And then you put those like um, hairsprays that we use to bond the wigs down. Once that gets in there, it locks all that product in there, gel. And then you put that hairspray that got to be glued, it locks it in and makes it kind of crusty. So a fresh one always is amazing. Now, this was a day where I did take extra time with the baby hairs. Again, these were special because they were so kinky and curly. Keep in mind, I did not tweeze them out. The only thing I did was I trimmed them down. And then anything extra, I kind of send it backwards. At this point, I really loved the way I had got it because it still gave a natural vibe. But it also was like baby hair that I like. So I love that. And then I went in and tinted the lace along the hairline as well. It does appear a lot more light, but as soon as I melt it down and hit it with the setting spray, it's definitely going to oxidize and do its thing. At this point, we were pretty much done, but I wanted to go in and just tame the ends and kind of just show you that you can definitely go in and soak these out. Now, I did not take my time and section it off. It's just ain't nobody got time for that, especially because I, I, I honestly wanted it to be big anyways. But I did a couple heat passes throughout and I got it as smooth and sleek as I could without, you know, doing the most. And you can kind of see the before and after okay guys it's a lot going on but i did go ahead and straighten the hair i do have my braids in and then the melt belt is on go ahead and do my makeup really quickly so you guys can get the vibe and then you'll see me in the next clip I almost forgot to show you guys my packaging. This is the box here. And as you guys can see, we're loaded up with some goodies. So for starters, we have the dust bag. And then this is a handful of goodies they included. This here is the melt belt. I love how it matches their packaging perfectly. This is a crochet needle. This is very handy. And this is the mini version. So I love that I have both. And then the star of the show. If you guys watch my videos, you know I use these in every single video. They're like crocodile clips. And I love crocodile clips. And they have these beautiful pastel colors that they provide kalai hair so i'm showing you the ones that i've been using today that was already you know in use and they sent me two more packs i'm so excited about that they also gave me this mesh bag and then it has your wig caps in there an additional melt belt which is like cheetah print you know super cute a pack of lashes and these are definitely va va voom and then also a travel size kabuki brush so you are good to go here here was like the end of the day i went ahead and removed those braids i wanted to show you guys what it looked like nice and big and full i think you guys got the picture but you guys can see i love the way it looks just in its natural state a flawless hairline can make any big and you know beautiful hair look perfect and snatched okay ladies so i am done with the look and i really want to show you guys how beautiful and flawless the hair ca hairline came out and we are rocking with the 4c edges so i did take my time in trying to decide how i want to do them and i think that they came out super perfect i really didn't have a plan because you guys have seen me do 4c edges a many a times and i kind of did them in different ways so i wanted to make sure i did them in the best way that shows off this wig beautifully and i definitely came slayed and executed to perfection and then it definitely matches with my skin perfectly not too much not too little and then in for the style i did go ahead and just do some really nice goddess braids along the front basically french braids you can pull them to the back and kind of just put them into a little bit of a um like i would take them put them together and then like put them in the clip and instead of making them tight like this where they'll like chunk off the wig i would keep it super low um so that they kind of like hang low at the back 
but they kind of still allow the wig to be free. You can definitely make the braids even bigger if you like or no braids at all. I just wanted to do something fun with it. So this one here is a 13 by 4 lace front wig. She has kinky straight edges as well as a kinky straight texture. She's 24 inches in length and of course she's a natural color. Um, I do have a coupon code in the description box for you guys. You can get 20% off which is an amazing, amazing deal. There's also some other options in the... Um, in their on their website and i have them all in the description box all like categorized for you guys be sure to check her out i feel like it's always great to have a kinky straight wig in your collection i love her like straight down kind of like with a flip over with a half up half down all of the styles look beautiful with this one so make sure you guys don't miss out thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe like this video share with your friends also don't forget to shop her in the description box and as always i'll see you in the next one smooch Tschüss.